Why are divorce rates through the roof? Why has it become so common that most boys grow up without a father and a broken household, leading them to develop a weak, effeminate personality? Do we dare say that marriage is outdated in our modern world? When I was growing up, all my friends had divorced parents or were the lonely child in alienating families. I got lucky, but even since then, it has only gotten worse on a global scale. Why is this, or mostly in the Western world? The mystic psychonaut Jung identified that it comes down to projection, our shadow, and our relation to the feminine or anima when it comes to men, and of course, how extremely unconscious we live our lives on a daily basis. No wonder that one third of all children born in the US are the result of unintended pregnancies. But before we get into why you will probably marry the wrong woman, Let's get into understanding the fundamentals to why, so we can reduce that risk. Have you ever gotten angry as hell at someone only to feel like an idiot afterwards? Of course you have, you're human. The cool thing about anger is that it tells us a lot about ourselves, an uncomfortable amount. Let's get into it. We like some parts of ourselves more than others. We like our happiness but dislike our competitiveness. Why? The culture we grow up in conditions us to accentuate these so-called good parts of ourselves and repress everything that is for some reason socially unacceptable. The Jungians called this unacceptable stuff the shadow. The poet Robert Bly gives us a metaphor of a bag carried behind us, filled with everything about ourselves that we have stowed away, but these unacceptable bits hang around in us and will find a way to be expressed. And this is where shit can get crazy. We project the unacceptable bits of ourselves into other people. We make others hold what we learned is bad. We imagine these traits exist in the other person. We even blame and shame them for it. Don't get me wrong, people might actually hold these things we project onto them, yet it's nearly impossible to know what is projection and what isn't. In most cases, it's safer to assume that projection is at play. But think about it for a second. How can we know what other people are up to without some sort of mind reading machine? In most cases, we can't. We project intentions into other people. It's our assumption. It's coming from us. How many times have you lost something and immediately thought, who stole my da 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 da, before finding where you last left it? How many times have you thought someone was an arsehole only to become friendly with them when you truly get to know them and therefore were wrong. Through getting to know the other person through curiosity, we dissolve our projections. Why the hell is he talking about this, you might be saying? Because everyone, the reason why I'm talking about this is because everyone does this, not just crazy people. Projections reveal themselves when we call our teachers, professors or bosses, dad or mom, by mistake, right before a big meeting or event. If you put your paternal authority in your boss, you free yourself from taking responsibility. If you put your genius in a teammate at work, you don't need to come up with innovative ideas. You can just ask Fred, right? If you put your inner racism into another group, you absolve yourself of your own prejudice. We project things to protect ourselves. Now, for example, Tom is a, let's say, a 24-year-old geezer in his prime. It's the weekend. Our mate Tom is in the club with his mates, the alcohol is flowing, the speakers are bumping, the place is filling up. Later that night, Tom sports a gorgeous statuesque blonde. His heart stops. He realises that he is yet to live when stunned by her complexion. His eyes dilate, his body vibrates, he feels like he is walking on clouds. It's not just the illicit substances. Oh my god, Tom thinks to himself, I have finally found her. Tom, in this moment, is projecting what Jung would call this the anima, animus for women. Time moves on, of course, and they end up being in a serious relationship with each other later on. Now, problems arise when Tom marries her, because Tom ends up marrying his own projection. This goes for any quote-unquote love-at-first-sight situation. Tom married a mask, not who the other person actually is is. Whether you like it or not, this is going to work on you too. So how do we protect ourselves from doing what Tom did? How do we not fall for an illusion 
in which Tom does not want to realize or accept as truth. If you're into Jung, you probably heard of individuation. Jung believed that the ideal was to reject all projections. Reject all projections. Do not identify the woman you meet with your projection of perfection. Do not identify yourself with your projections you take in from your job, your fame, or any of your accolades that you've collected over time. Individuation means releasing yourself from all projections and ideals. Individuation means not embracing the animal or animus. He thought you are only to relate to the animus or the animus through the other sex, of course, through relating with the other sex. Individuation means to embrace the shadow, the good and the bad. You don't have to act on it, of course, but you must know and accept it. Psychic maturity involves taking back our projections. It involves processing the shame around each part we have given away. It's not a fast process and it's far from easy, but becoming aware of our own projections is essential if you want to be an effective young man in both work and in life itself. This is why I have created Myorum Society. Myorum Society provides tailored coaching for health, wealth, relationships, and the cultivation of happiness. We've created the most cost-effective ways to level up across your entire life with tailored coaching from individuals in different disciplines. So if you're interested, come onto a free consultation call with me and we can run you down the entire process of how you can get involved in the program. I look forward to talking to you and I'll see you on the inside.